In this video we're going to cover some basics of dealing with CSV format files. Now I've got my sample data on the right hand side and I'm going to go ahead and import that into a variable. So I, in this case I create my dollar sign data equals import CSV and then the path to the file that I'm importing. Now, for those of you who have probably seen a few videos before, you may know that I'm a big fan of both Windows and Linux as far as PowerShell goes. So in this case, we're going to do a Linux one, although this will work exactly the same as if I was doing this on Windows. Obviously, the slashes are slightly different and the folder structure as well. Anyway, moving forward, uh, we're now going to have a look at the data that we've imported and use the get members to see how that data looks in terms of whether we have the column values. So we have column 1, column 2, and as you can see, they've successfully imported as column 1 and column 2. So those can be accessed using the dot uh, and then the column. So we have data dot column and then we can access the data that's actually under that column. Now since we have multiple rows here, let's go through the each row in turn using the for each. So we create a new value, in this case I'm going to call it uh, dollar sign $i, and for each row within our original dollar sign data, I'm going to output. So I'm just going to nicely format our original ones. Now I need to encapsulate because I want to show this output. And if I just use the dot uh, and then column 1 as an example, it will think that column 1 is text and therefore won't actually grab the the value information so I need to actually encapsulate it to get it to output this is something you might struggle with at first but the encapsulation is not too much of a problem to get your head around once you get started so we're now going to run the output and I'm just going to close off our little for each and you can see that we have each and every row from our data set correctly presented now that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and hit subscribe for more content.